हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम एट सुधी राय कोच अ चैनल फॉर बर्डिंग ऑफ थर्मोलॉजिस्ट टुडे आई एल बी शोइंग अ केस वेर आई डिड फेकोमल्सिफिकेशन इन अ पेशेंट विद सीडो एक्सफोलिएशन सिंड्रोम एज वी ऑल नो दैट इन सीडो एक्सफोलिएशन देर इज अ डिपोजिशन ऑफ डिस्टिंक्ट फिब्रिलर मटीरियल द एंटी चैम्बर ओवर द एंटीर कैप्सूल एट द एंगल एंड जॉल्यूल्स एंड दीज डिपॉजिट्स आर लाइक फ्लेक्स डेंडर फ्लाइक मटीरियल एंड दे आर ऑफन एसोशिएटेड विद नैरो एंगल और ओपन एंगल ग्लोकोमा इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पेशेंट्स वी मेक एट पुअर पिपलरी डायलिटेशन वीक जॉन्यूल्स एंड पोस्ट पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव आई विल डिसलोकेशन कैप्सुलर फाइ फाइमोसिस एंड सो ऑन लकली इन दिस केस पीपल वॉज वेल डायलिटेड हेयर आई स्टार्टेड विद द रैक्सेस विच इज स्लाइटली लार्जर दैन which i normally perform because the larger rexes can reduce the possibility of uh, zonular dehiscence during phaco surgery and it gives less stress on the capsular bag also normally we get uh, deposits uh, in the area of uh, anterior capsule where iris is not in the contact of uh, the anterior capsule sometime we may get uh, intraoperative uh, surprises like uh, zonular dehiscence de therefore in the pre operatively we have to be prepared for all those uh, possible surprises we have to keep the intra uh, capsular tension rings ready in cases where we get dehiscence we can implant the rings and we can strengthen the capsular uh, dehiscence we can implant this we can perform surgery without uh, much of the complications and we can implant the sur- intraocular lens as we do in the normal case in this case the nuclear density was not great and it was hardly grade 3 or grade 4 so in preoperatively we examined the uh, optical disc and we assess for the uh, any existing pre existing glaucoma and uh, fortunately there was no uh, glaucomatous changes at the disc i performed the uh, phaco fragmentation without any problem because uh, nucleus was soft and uh, i created a big size uh, capsular access during epinuclear plate removal or cortical clean up we have to be slightly more cautious about not catching the uh, posterior capsule therefore always keep the eye uh, tip in upright position so that you won't uh, hold the capsule Uh, if pupil is not uh, well dilated then you can use the sinski hook to hook the iris so that you will get the tip of the cortical epinuclear plate and from there you can grab it and pull towards the center and you can easily and safely remove the cortic uh, epinuclear plate always uh, be uh, calm and show patience to grab the tip of the epinuclear plate if epinuclear plate is uh, sticky then you can do hydro procedure to make it uh, loose in the bag and then you can easily aspirate it i always wait um to start my eye unless i get proper area where i can hold the epinuclear plate it requires patience it requires you have to control your nerves because this is the time where majority of the posterior capsular complication occurs patience in the phaco surgery is key to success because uh, we need to uh, perform surgery without any event and our prime aim is to implant a lens in the bag because uh, in the bag implantation uh, resolves so many post operative complications uh, like discomfort irritation and uh, low grade uveitis here you can switch between uh, two different uh, different modes of uh, ia you can go in the cap back back and you can grab the posterior caps uh, the epinuclear plate near the posterior capsule and uh, you can create the area where safely you can aspirate the epinuclear plate this is very important aspect of uh, 
removal of epinuclear plate and cortical matter. In the cases where post capsule is lax, laxed and loose, you have to be very careful during cortical matter cleanup. The trickiest part of cortical aspiration is the subincisional area and uh, if you are well versed with the bi-manual IA tips you can definitely switch to IA tip and you can easily aspirate in that area. Here I filled the antechamber with the viscoelastics and the uh, poster capsule was glistening so I implanted the fake, uh, eye well, single piece eye well hydrophobic implant in the bag and with the scaffold technique I remove the remain, remaining epinuclear plate. Now remove the viscoelastics thoroughly bandage from the antechamber and behind the eye well. Do not leave the cortical and the viscoelastics because in the cases where pseudo exfoliation uh, flakes are there in the, at the angle the patient may often get uh, post-operative raised intraocular pressure. Thanks for watching.